Ah, we found it. Yes. <laughs> All right, everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome along back to a brand new video. And today, we've got an exciting one. We're here looking for something that's really interesting, but also I'm going to tell you about the five best sounding animals in the world. I'm joined by family. That's my mum, that's my sister. You excited, girls? Oh, very. They might not be with me for most of the video, but it's a cafe over there, so they'll probably disappear at some point. Look at this as well. We've got Arsene Wenger's daughter. <laughs> They've already gone. So I'm here at Drake at Water because there's something really, really interesting over in this big reservoir. And that is a great northern diver, or for anywhere else in the world, a common loon. And I've never seen one. And I really, really want to see one. So the research that I've done to try and find this thing, which has been here over a week now, is in this area just here, which is, I mean, right next to the car park and the cafe where the family has gone to. But it should be around here. Now looking here, actually, there's quite a lot of stuff. I can't lie, there's loads of swans. There's some goose under down there, some cormorants. It's really, really nice, but they're not what I'm after. I'm after the loon. <laughs> Of course, while we're here, don't forget to smash a like on this video and subscribe for more. If this is sort of your thing, going out here in the UK wilderness, telling you about some cool things knocking about. But now, let's talk about the first animal on this list of really cool sounding animals. And we're going down under for this one, and it's one that I saw earlier on in the year for Animal Anomalies Australia, and that is going to be the superb lyrebird. A wicked, wicked animal. Now the superb lyrebird is endemic to Australia, more specifically the south eastern part of Australia. And it's just such a wicked thing. They can grow to about 80 centimetres in length up to a metre and then their tail is almost just as long as them as well which is really really quite cool to look at and it's also very very beautiful now obviously as cool as they look which some of these things on this list are going to look pretty cool we're here for the sound now in australia one of the key things to hear from a uh, lyrebird was their thing which was called plecking and that sort of sounds like this which to me is a really cool sound, but the most impressive part of a superb lyrebird is its ability to mimic other things around it. And it's just amazing. Now I'm sure all of you have seen that David Attenborough footage from years and years and years ago of this lyrebird mimicking all the things around it. It's just amazing it's been on my bucket list for such a long time and i was so happy to tick that off this year and what a fantastic animal and that's going in and what are the top five for me just wicked <laughs> There's someone in the in the reservoir down over that way he's fishing he must be absolutely freezing it's six degrees right now with a cold wind he's mental ah well while i'm here anyway let's talk about the next animal on this list and we're going to stay down under because this is definitely one of my favorites this time we're going to be talking about the laughing kookaburra now again you can find this on the east coast of australia as well as the west coast because it's been reintroduced over to that side and in new zealand weirdly enough and even so there was one spotted in the uk down in i think sussex or surrey earlier this year which is weird that shouldn't have happened now kookaburras are the biggest kingfisher in the family they're quite a decent size about 50 centimeters in length and with a wingspan up to about 70 centimeters as well and they weigh about 200 grams now they usually do what kingfishers do and they sit on poles they wait for some it swoop down grab it but they will eat a lot of things small animals so like rodents and all that sort of stuff mollusks reptiles 
frogs, flipping anything. Even so, they also eat venomous snakes, which is really quite strange. But ultimately, I don't care about all of that because they are one of the most wicked sounding animals on the planet in my personal opinion just that laughing sound is just when you hear it in person oh, it's amazing it's so nice and that's one big thing i miss about being in australia is hearing those guys Also as well, when they catch stuff, they usually whack it against whatever they're stood on or whatever. There was one point up the northeast side of Australia for me where there was a really tame sort of kookaburra. I tried to give it a chip, he grabbed it, started whacking it all over the place. And that was really, really cool, like just seeing him take a chip and just start battering it against a metal pole. They're just lovely things, they're really nice to look at. They're so wicked sounding as well, and that's why it's in my top five. And I don't care what you say about it. Anyway, onwards with the loon. Where are you? Right, I'm heading back towards the cafe and where this common loon is most commonly sighted. I'm gonna tell you about the next animal on this list. And it's a UK one. We're coming home for this one. And it's one of my favorites. I absolutely love it. I love them as animals as well. And it's the green woodpecker. Now for me, this is the best sound you can hear in a UK countryside. It's just such a wicked, wicked call. It's like, it's almost like the English kookaburra in a way, but it sort of sounds like just this maniac laughing in a really high pitched tone. <laughs> Now green woodpeckers are one of three woodpeckers that you can see here natively all year round. They usually feed in stuff like this. They eat insects, but most commonly they flip in love ants. They use their beaks to have a look around and then they'll just sort of dip their tongue in, grab the ant and it's dinner time, lovely. They're sometimes hard to spot though because of their color. They blend into their surroundings really quite well. They're about 40 centimeters in length with a wingspan of about 50 centimeters. And woodpeckers, they sort of do this fly where they sort of flap, 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 glide, flap, 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 glide. So you can always tell as well if you see that. But again, it's green. So if you see it fly and it's green, chances are it's a green woodpecker. But even so, it's one of my favorite things to hear in the UK countryside. I just absolutely love it. I love them, they're wicked. And that's gonna be my next animal on the list. Green woodpeckers, wicked. The next animal on this list, this is gonna be four out of five, and this one is the red-tailed hawk. Now, any sort of American freedom thing that you hear, this big cry, and it's got this eagle showing you, and you think, yeah, eagles make wicked sounds. Well, I'm here to break the news to you that they really don't. It's actually the red-tailed hawk. It's got one of the best sounds a bird can make. It sounds ferocious. It's the sound of freedom in America, and they dub it over eagles, which is a real shame because the red-tailed hawk is class. The red-tailed hawk can be found in North America, so like Canada, the United States of America, but it can also be found quite south as well, as far as the Caribbean, which is really quite weird. They will eat just about anything that they can get their mouth around, but it is usually small rodents. And also, I am utterly convinced I heard one of these in Scotland on the Arden American Peninsula. We went to try and film white-tailed sea eagles and I heard that call and I thought, hang on a second, that shouldn't be here. I didn't get to see it, but I am absolutely convinced that is what I heard. Anyway, if you didn't know about the eagle thing, sorry to ruin your day, but it's a red-tailed hawk. Sounds wicked anyway. You're back, do you have a good time in the cafe? 
Yeah. Nice cafe, recommend it to everyone who wants to come to Drake at Water? Yeah, that's right. So have you uh, seen many birds you like? D just birds. You love birds, yeah? Top fan of birds, me. Anything with a wing, I love it. So if you haven't gathered it already, my sister's not exactly a keen wildlife person. She likes cute animals, but she's not that into it. She's just looked at a cormorant, sat on a boy, and asked me if it was a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> I think that have I seen it have I seen it is this it is this it yes yes it is it is I got it oh it's gone do you see it that was it it's right there ah we found it the common loon yes <laughs> That is wicked. He's just gone again. Common loon. So it's hunting right now. And it was basically, they dive down, they grab what they want. They eat it underwater. So you don't really get a lot of time to see it at the top, but still really cool. It's dead flat like a pancake. Amazing. I absolutely flipping love that. It's the first one I've ever seen in my life. Sick. So I am so happy to see this. It's like, it's a bird I've wanted to see for quite a while now. And just because of its sound. So coming in, uh, the last bird on this list is going to be the common loon. It's got one of the most haunting, impressive sounds you can hear in the animal world. It's usually used in like horror films. So any sort of like nighttime thing in a film, you'll hear the sound of this bird. And it sounds absolutely wicked, albeit terrifying. To have it literally just down here when I filmed it was sick. I'm so happy I've seen it, but they sound amazing. So what was that like seeing a really rare bird here that could be an animal anomaly? What was that like? Well, I was, on, you? I was on Instagram the whole time trying to find a gif of Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> but anyway, that has been absolutely sick. I'm so glad it's ended in that way. Found the common loon in the UK at Drake at Water. I'm so happy about it. So cool. Wanted to see one for a while now wicked anyway if you've enjoyed this video don't forget to smash a like also subscribe if you're new around here check out the links in the description down below as well get yourself a calendar for the new year the animal anomalies 2023 calendar or get yourself some merch whatever you want to do cool common loon out there sounding wicked looking wicked <sighs> see you in the next one take care